his back. Looks like bath time's over. Time to dry off. I like how they shake their tails <laughs> to get the water off. Yeah. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, and ducklings use their bills to get the water out of their feathers. You know, we use towels to dry off, right? But this is the way the ducklings dry off. <laughs> they flap their little wings. <laughs> these ducklings can't do much with their wings now, but when they grow up, these wings are gonna be powerful wings and make these ducklings powerful flyers. Sabu will love these guys. You know, I wonder, do lemurs take baths? Let's call Zabu. Hey, Zabu! Zabu! Zabu, my boo! Here he comes. Hey, hey Zabu. Zabu! Good to see you, buddy. All right, let's go. Zabu, do lemurs take baths? <laughs> you got my nose. <laughs> what a silly lemur. Come on, Zab, tell me. Do lemurs take baths? You know Zabu. Eat first, talk later. Zabu mangoes! Mangoes are slimy, but Zabu loves them. Come on, chew like a lemur. Give me Zabu Mafu! <laughs> hey there, everybody. Hi! Hi, Zabu. So, do lemurs take baths? Lemurs like to tooth comb each other. That's how we take a bath. <laughs> how messy can you get? Who are you talking about, Zob? <laughs> Who's so messy? Three of them messy. Three of them? Yeah, but it's hard to tell who. There's a lot of mud on top. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? <laughs> this mystery animal was looking for mud. And when she found some, she jumped right in. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. I took a closer look and got a face full of mud. <laughs> Them, all covered in mud. Do you know who they are? Okay, I think I got it. Don't tell me. I think I know who the Who's are. You do? Yeah, the three red hanging tongues gave it away. Three muddy dogs. Three muddy dogs! Three muddy dogs! Mud Katsika. Mystery animals here. Did you know there are over 300 different kinds of dogs in the world? And they all look different and have different names. Like a pug. 
a Siberian Husky, and an Afghan Hound. But there's one thing the same with all dogs. Only pet them when you know them and an adult says it's okay. Can I pet your dog? Sure, you can pet my dog. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's how you meet a new dog. So, what kind of dogs do you think are hidden under all of this mud? <laughs> the only way we're ever gonna find out is if we get this mud off. <laughs> so, when three muddy dogs come into Animal Junction, do you know what time it is? Three muddy dog time? <laughs> yeah, well that and bath, bath time. time. Come on, Zob, let's get the tub ready. Okay. Yeah, you're so good. Oh, you are muddy. How'd you get so muddy? Uh-oh. Do you know what I just realized? When dogs get muddy, one of the first things they like to do is shake. Yards. No! <laughs> it's like goobleberry goo. Sugary and slimy, just the way I like it. Here's a place for a doggy bath. Now this is one big tub. <laughs> tub a dub uh, Guys, any more room in that tub for one more muddy dog? Hey, what happened, Martin? How'd you get so muddy? Yeah, we were only gone for a second. I know my brother gets into messes, but this is ridiculous. Well, the dog shook their fur, mud flew off, and it covered me. Like that. Let's name these dogs. Muddy dog number one can be Furface. Muddy dog number two can be Squirt. And muddy dog number three can be Catcher. And number four, well, number four is Martin. All <laughs> right. Yep, he's a muddy Martin. <laughs> now, most dogs don't really like baths. So, we have to figure out a way to give the dogs a bath so they like it. We want to make these dogs feel good. Yeah, we want to feel good. <laughs> Let's get started. First, we have to fill up the tub with water. And we have to make sure it's nice and warm. Not too hot. Not too hot. Not too cold. Not too cold. Just nice and warm. Just right. Hmm, mm. it's warm. Nice and warm, but wet. Water's too wet for me. But it's not too wet for muddy dogs. It's time to put the dogs in the tub. <laughs> okay, everybody in. First squirt, and now catcher. Whoops, we'll come back, catcher. The water's warm. Chris made it warm. It's okay, fur face. I know it's wet, but it's warm. You too, Martin! <laughs> now we got Muddy Martin and all the dogs in the pond. <laughs> Some dogs don't like taking baths, but they'll feel great later. When you're washing a dog, the first thing you do is pour water over the dog. You should always pour the water gently, because that's the way the dogs like it. And Martin likes it too. <laughs> okay, Catcher, your turn for the wet down. Wow, everybody's wet now. Yay, <laughs> that's the next part! Uh... Next, we have to lather up the dog's fur with soap. Does it make bubbles? Sure does, Zob. Bubbles. Do I like bubbles? I have to think on this. This dog loves it when I scratch her back. But I have to be really careful not to get any soap in her eyes. Have you ever had soap in your eyes? Ouch, that can sting. Never put soap in a dog's eyes. Wow. Are these bubbles? <laughs> I like bubbles. <laughs> I do not like got the hat on. <laughs> so do human kids. Mm, I'm making bubbles. You're a great hair washer, Zob. Uh, I'm not getting any soap in your eyes, am I? No, you're doing a great job. In fact, this is the best doggy bath I've ever had. Oh, thanks. In fact, it's the only dog bath you ever had. <laughs> <laughs> the bubbles cover the dogs, 
Like the jelly covered the green puppy in Zabu Land. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, leap, leap. When all of a sudden, <laughs> I landed in a big puddle of goobleberry goo. It felt squishy and gooey, and it felt good. Oh, and it tasted good, too. <laughs> and then I noticed I wasn't alone. Well, <laughs> hi, green puppy. Hi, Zabu. Green puppy always likes to sing when she takes a goobleberry bath. Goobleberry bath, what a splash. Goobleberry bath, what a splash. She said splash, so I splashed her. <laughs> and she splashed me back. <laughs> goobleberry Blink. baths are fun, but also very messy. <laughs> uh oh, green puppy. Here comes Google. Oh, oh, goobleberry goo. Oh, oh, boy. And he sucked up all the goobleberry goo, and we were all cleaned off. And that was the end of our goobleberry oh, bath. Oh, yummy. The oh. end. <laughs> Good story, Zabumafu. Well, one thing's for sure. Now, it's time for the rinse. <laughs> oh, goody, the rinse. It's the next step. <laughs> Take a hose. Hose? Here's a yellow one. Hey, guys, how about this hose? That's not a hose hub. That's a Burmese python. Sometimes my mind plays tricks on me. I don't think a snake can rinse dogs. Hey, hey, not under my armpit. That tickles. <laughs> Um, sorry guys, I can't help you. I'm all snaked up. Besides, rinsing's too wet for me. <laughs> so, take a hose and rinse down the dogs. Be really careful around her face. Hold her chin up like this so no water runs into her eyes. Okay, Martin, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, you're all wet now. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Feeling great. <laughs> hey, brothers, it's my turn. I want to get squirt wet. Oh, the snake who spits water. I like him. You mean the hose? Oh, yeah, the hose. <laughs> uh, let me try it, Chris. Okay, I'll turn it on okay. for you. Okay. Whoa, 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 Thanks, Zabu. <laughs> but it worked. See? I rinsed off Squirt. The dogs are all rinsed off. Okay, everybody, out of the tub. Uh-oh. They're gonna shake. We have to get some towels and dry the dogs off before they shake. Hurry up, Zab, grab some towels. Towel? No, that's a basketball. Towel? 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 What is a towel? Don't worry, Zob, I've got the towels. Too late. <laughs> and too wet. <laughs> oh, well, guys. <laughs> too late. Here you go, Zob. Use a towel. So, what do we do now? Now it's time for the last step of a dog's bath time. <laughs> we all dry off. <laughs> we all dry off. Yeah, yeah, that's the last step. <laughs> and soon we'll know for sure exactly what kind of dogs our buddies are. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. The bath worked. They're clean and they feel better. <laughs> and I feel clean doggish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel clean doggish. How about you, clean doggish? Clean dog, clean doggish. There's no mud on me, clean doggish. I'm a squeaky clean dog who loves Woo! to run around. <laughs> clean doggish. We did it! Now we can see what these dogs really look like. She's a Border Collie. She's an Old English Sheepdog. And she is a long-haired Jack Russell Terrier. Now we're all clean dogs. <laughs> but you know what? Muddy or clean, both ways, they're my friends. That's my pal, Catcher. 
Nice catch! <laughs> and that's Furface. How do you see through all that hair? <laughs> and Squirt's the smallest, but she's got a big smile. We're pals, huh? Right, Furface? <laughs> hey, where are you going? Hey. It was great playing with you guys. Yeah, we'll see you later. <laughs> Oh, hi there, catcher. <laughs> yeah, I like you too. <laughs> bye bye. Come back for a bath anytime. And I hope you find some more mud to play in. Chris, look out! Incoming! Duck! <laughs> this time it really is a duck. Hi, duck. Whoops, I better get this before it gets too wet. Talk about wet? Look at Duck. You think we should towel her off? No, a duck's body makes special oil that she spreads through her feathers, and that makes her waterproof. Water just rolls right off her. <laughs> Guys, look what Jackie's up to. It was really hot out today, so I went for a swim at my puppy pond. But then I thought, the birds would like to cool off too, so I filled up my bird bath. It's important for birds to keep their feathers clean. If a bird's feathers get too grouped up with dirt, they can't fly very well. And taking a bath makes them feel good. But then a raccoon came over to splash around. Raccoons love to dip their paws in the water, and sometimes their food too. Hey Martin, Chris, how big a bath do you need for a herd of wild elephants? For that many elephants, I think you need an ocean. Well, you'd need a lot of water, Zob, but a lake would probably do. Hmm. Or even a small pond. Or a watering hole. A lot of creatures are into bath time. Bison love shaking it up in the water. And hippos cool off in the water all day long. The water protects them from the hot sun. How do African buffaloes take baths? In mud puddles. Baths in mud? Yeah, mud baths are a favorite kind of creature bath. But what about elephant bath? Yeah, you know what? Let's check it out. Let's go visit a herd of elephants for bath time! Hmm. Sounds like a trip to me. <laughs> They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to oh. grab their stuff and split. Oh. <laughs> well, we'll need a canoe. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Thanks for the ride. <laughs> Bye, guys. Get wet. See anything yet? Nope. Elephants. And here they come. When a lot of elephants jump into water, it must make a really big splash. Uh-oh. Guys! Oh no! I think we're gonna get wet! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what time it is? It's bath time for the elephants. Yeah, and it looks like we're taking a bath with the herd. Elephants like to take a bath every day if they can. Ah! Ah! Woohoo! A bath cleans them off and cools them off. Yeah. You bath time. Elephant baths are big baths. <laughs> hey, is it time to get out already? You know what bath time's like. You never want to get in. But once you get in, you never want to get out. <laughs> yeah, we had a bath in a big way. Elephant style. But now, let's head back to Animal Junction, see what Zob is up to. Come on. This way, Chris. Wait a minute. Do you hear something? Yeah. Do you hear that? Something's going on in there. Do you want to find out what? All right, let's go. Pigs! <laughs> yeah, I can't believe my mind. They came into Animal Junction for their baths. In mud. It's time to get dirty. That's what a pig bath is. Dirty. 
<laughs> it's bath time! Pig style! Calling all Pratt Brothers! Come on in! All right, Zop, here we go! Whoa! Woo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> this could only happen in Animal Junction. I had a feeling you guys would need towels again. Piglets are so great! Piglet? What's a piglet? A piglet's a baby pig. This is a piglet. And piglets love to get muddy. And you know, so do rhinos. A rhinoceros takes mud baths because it's really hot in Africa, and the mud helps cool them down. Mud helps with the flies, too. Flies make a rhino itchy, so rolling in the mud covers him up and makes it harder for the flies to bite him. Oh, I get it. Mud baths make sense now. Yeah, there's nothing like a good mud bath for a rhino on a hot African afternoon. Oh, I feel a joke coming, and I think it's going to be a good one. Okay, okay, I got it. <clears throat> hey, Chris, Martin, what did the rhino say to the baby pig who was splashing in the mud? What's up? Pig, let me in. Piglet. <laughs> <laughs> um, Martin, why is that piglet digging in the mud with his nose? Pigs use their nose like a shovel to dig up the ground and look for something to eat. It's like doing this. Use their nose like a shovel? What's a shovel? Over there on the porch, Sob. There's a shovel. Shovel. I want to see. Shovel. This is a shovel. Pigs have shovel noses. <laughs> hey, Zob. Huh? Take a look at this guy. I'm going to call you Shovel Nose. Good name, Sob. Let's go, Shovel Nose. Back to the mud bath. Shovel Nose loves the mud. That looks like fun. Come on, oink like a pig. Ready? You're doing great. <laughs> Maybe I should try mud too. I'm coming in. <laughs> Whoa! Chris, Martin! Whoa! <laughs> Squishy and gooey. Hey, <laughs> Sneezing reminds me of something. In Zabu land. I was leaping along. Leap, leap, and then I heard a funny noise. It sounded to me like Narchi. Sure enough, it was Narchi. Climbing up the hill, pushing a zoot fruit. But then he sneezed and slid down the hill. The zoot fruit rolled down after him. Try it again. Climbing up the hill with his zoot fruit, but he sneezed again. <laughs> he slid down the hill. The zoot fruit rolled down after him. Then Narchi said, I just can't get my zoot fruit to the top of the hill. So I said to him, Hey, Narchi, why don't you use something else to push the zoot fruit? Well, I don't have anything else. I only have me. Why don't you use your sneezy nose to help you? Try walking backwards and pushing the zoot fruit with your behind. Oh, and don't forget to sneeze. Thanks, Zob. So Narchi's nose sneezed him up the hill. <laughs> what a nose. <laughs> I did it. I climbed the hill. <laughs> so me and Narchi sat on top of the hill and nibbled on his zoot fruit all day. The end. <laughs> Great story. Thanks. Hey, someone's headed this way. Monk, Zika. <laughs> I can't believe my mind. Martin, Chris, it's a giant piglet. <laughs> She's not a giant piglet, Zob. She's the mother pig. She's come to get her piglets. Wow. She's big. I can't believe these little piglets are going to get this big. Oh, Sika, I can't believe my mind. You know, if she went in the mud puddle, there wouldn't be room for anybody else. <laughs> Look at all the piglets, they're suckling on her. <laughs> Look at how the mom keeps walking round and round, and the piglets follow her to drink at her nipples. Whoa, they're crawling all over each other. They must be thirsty. Those piglets are sucking on those nipples, and they get milk. <laughs> they're going home now. See you later, big pig. See ya, piglets. Bye, Mungatsika pigs. Hey, that sounds like shovel nose. 
Well, that's because it is Shovel Nose. You're a baby creature, but you like to do things on your own, just like me. You're great, Shovel Nose. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his body behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have to say. Go make an animal friend today. Yeah! Shovel Nose. I guess I'm gonna go too. Bye, Crat Brothers. Bye, Zabu. See you later, Zab. <laughs> and we'll see you later too. What do you want to do now, Mark? Let's go surfing. All right. I'll race you to the water, bro. You're on. <laughs> my name's Troy, and my dog's name is Quigley. Yeah.